Hey guys, how you doing? This is Swan with Liberty Graphic Designs. Today we're going to be making a video on printing paper bags and cardboard boxes. So if you want to brand your own cardboard boxes, your shipping boxes and stuff like that, don't go anywhere. We're going to show you how to do that real quick on this video. My son's going to be helping me on this video, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so I said I was going to make a video on printing paper bags and cardboard boxes. You know, if you want to brand your own boxes with your logo, with your information, you know, stuff like that. Uh, or bags, you know, this, this bags right here is going to be for the uh, church's um, uh, foot pantry. So that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to show you the inks that you can use and what inks not to use that are not going to work, the more than likely they're going to come up. So my son's going to be helping me on this one. We're going to be using a conveyor dryer to dry the ink faster. However, you don't need a conveyor dryer, a heat dryer. You don't need any, any type of uh, drying equipment. Uh, if you guys have a drying rack, that's more than enough. Um, water base dries by itself. Uh, it's air dry. So as long as you don't set the boxes on top of each other right as soon as you print them, you're perfectly fine. Uh, you can let it air dry and they'll dry within a couple of hours. Uh, if you do have a conveyor dryer, you can you can run it through the conveyor dryer and uh, you can dry it within seconds, like maybe about 30 seconds. That's, you know, it, you can dry it that fast. However, again, you do not need a conveyor dryer. By the way, that background noise that you see, that you hear, is the conveyor dryer uh, running. But again, you don't need none of that stuff. Um, now let me show you what kind of ink I'm going to use. So for those of you that saw the uh, video that I did on the 100 uh, shirts on the one hour, you saw me mixing the ink and that's the same ink that we're going to be using. This one is going to be for the church and, and the other one that I'm going to use is the other blue that I mixed again on that video. Uh, if you guys want to watch that video, I'll probably put a link in the, on the right somewhere around here so you guys can watch it. But again, I'm going to be using water-based inks. This is this water-based inks are done by Matsui. Um, but if since you're printing on uh, boxes, you can just go to Hobby Lobby, uh, Walmart, Michaels, whatever uh, craft store that you have in your town. And you can buy speedball, speedball that you know the water-based inks. You can use speedball for something like this. Uh, the only bad thing, or the only trouble that you're gonna run into with speedball, is that it's gonna dry on you. More than likely, it's gonna dry, dry pretty quick. So, so what you wanna have is you wanna have a, a spray bottle with water, nothing else, just water. So if you see it drying up on you, you just mist it, you know, just just a little bit, just like that. Uh, so it doesn't dry on you. Again, uh, I'm not going to be printing a lot of uh, boxes or bags because this is just for the video, just so you guys can see. The bags, though, are going to be this is uh, something that I donate to the church for the uh, food pantry that the church has. So, bags we're going to be printing, uh, it's about 900 bags. 900 of this right here and they're all donated so we donate our work and our ink to the church the church brings me their bags and i just donate my work again in the ink that's what we do that's going to be donated um the boxes uh, i'm only printing a, a handful again this is just for the video uh, and the box the boxes are going to be with my logo so let me get the camera close so you guys can see again my son you're not going to see him anymore because he's going to be on the other side getting the box inside of the conveyor dryer. Okay, so let me get this close so you guys can see. Or actually, let me give you some, uh, some information. First thing you want to do, one thing you do not want to do when printing boxes, don't put a lot of pressure when, you, when you're printing. Uh, don't put a whole lot of pressure. Um, for my logo, I'm going to be using a 156 mesh. That's too high. 
or too low of a mesh count. You wanna, if you wanna print ba ba uh, boxes and bags, I'm sorry, you wanna print boxes and bags, uh, you wanna stay high in the mesh, in the mesh count. For example, let me swing this over, make sure I don't hit the camera like I did on the last video. No. This screen right here that I'm using for the church, this one is a 305. So 305 or 230 will work just fine for, for bags and boxes. Don't use a 110. If you use a 110, that's too much ink going through the, uh, the screen and possibly ruin, ruining the, uh, the box or your print. So you want to stay, the higher the mesh, the better your print is going to be. Because remember, when you print in shirts, the ink has a spot to, to like literally uh, land on and, and, and penetrate. On the boxes or the bags, it doesn't. It's just going to sit on top. It cannot go anywhere. So that's what I'm saying. Don't put a whole bunch of pressure. You want to put somewhat of a pressure, right? But not a lot of ink. Uh, you just need a little bit. And the higher the mesh, the better. Stick 100% to water base or solvent inks. Don't use Plastisol. Plastisol will not work. Plastisol more than likely will come off. When you rub it, it will just come off. So those are the only tips that I got uh, so far. Uh, and then you're squeegee, you know, regular squeegee. So let me get everything close so you guys can see. I'm going to be using uh, a kid's palette. And I'm not going to be using a big palette. So I'm going to be using a kid's palette. Uh, one other thing that you do not need is on your palette, you don't need to put any adhesive. This is a box, it's a one pass, one print. So you don't have to have tackiness on it. Even and the reason why I'm saying is because on, on the palette that I have, there is um, dual tack palette tape. And I'm just saying that so you guys know that you don't, it's not needed, okay? So you don't need spray, you don't need any sort of glue. <clears throat> it can be done just like that. Again, because it's only one pass. So let's get, let's get it on. Um, Let's get these bags and these boxes done. Okay, so right now what you're seeing is my palette, empty palette. I'm gonna put a, the ink that I'm gonna be using. And um, this is the bag that I'm gonna be printing, right? Let me get the ink out of the way. So one of the things that you wanna do in screen printing, this is, I know we're, sprinting, we're screen printing bags, but even if it was like a t-shirt, right? You wanna have your registration marks. I don't have those yet. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna bring down my screen and I want to see where I'm at. So with the screen. Okay, so just like, uh, this is screen printing, right? Just like when you're doing a t-shirt on this one, we have to find our uh, marks, our registration marks. And on this one, we don't have one because this bag, right? So what I'm gonna do is almost like, by the way, uh, I'm using a youth palette, um, just so you know. I'm gonna slide the bag inside the palette and the reason why I'm sliding the bag inside the palette I can also print it like this just put it on top but the, the, this bag has a joint right here you see that when you print over that that's going to ruin the uh, print so I'm going to be printing on this side where there's no um, joint so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the bag okay so once I got the bag in this case, we're working with the bag. Once I have the bag in the position where I want it, take a pen or some sort of a marking um, uh, material, mark it, so that way you know where it's at. I'm gonna remove this, and I'm gonna use a T-square because I wanna be dead on. And I apologize, I know you guys cannot see what I'm doing because the camera is pretty far from me. Um, the the camera will be in the way of the machine of the uh, screen press that's why you guys cannot see what I'm doing but once I have my mark where I want it this is what I do I take uh, sticky notes and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put about three or four sticky notes because I want a stopping point if I can get this so I'm gonna get about three to four sticky notes and I'm gonna put them right on the line. Then I'll go on the other side, put them right there. So now that's gonna become my registration point. So now when I grab the bag, all I gotta do is slide it 
and then that bag is gonna stop right at the at the uh, um, registration marks. And I know that every single bag is gonna end up exactly on the same spot by doing this right here, because it's pretty high. If you wanna put more than four sticky notes, you can. If you, you usually sometimes what I do is I have a piece of wood or or something that it'll stop it. That way it'll stop right there and it won't go any farther. Okay, so now. What I'm gonna do is, uh, remember for the church, I'm gonna use red. So I'm gonna take my ink, and I'm gonna add some ink in there. I'm sorry guys, I know you guys cannot see how much ink I'm adding in there. Okay, so here, just use a regular squeegee measure, it's big enough, and then just kinda flood it first, and then just one, one pass, okay? So you don't need to do multiple passes unless it didn't print correctly, then yes. So, again, this is why you don't need to put any tack in this, okay? And let me show you the actual print. So there you go, that's what they look like. And then I'm gonna throw this in the, uh, in the uh, dryer. Again, you don't need to have a dryer. If you don't have a dryer, just lay it down. Uh, you're gonna have this everywhere, right? But if you find a way, you can actually stagger them stagger them to where they don't touch um, the uh, print but the main thing is that you don't put put too much pressure blowing out the little details so you want enough pressure to make the print but not blow out the details again i'm gonna throw this through the uh conveyor dryer my son's gonna catch it on the other side and uh but that's it so let me print the other ones again we're not printing a whole bunch because we're not printing a whole bunch because this is just for the video. Or we're not showing you a bunch of them because this is just for the video. Again, there's your registration marks. Watch. There's one. Make sure you flood your screen after you print it, okay? Um, that way it doesn't, that way the ink doesn't dry up on you. Okay, so this is the last bag of, this round we only did 25 bags, but this is going to be the last bag for the video, and I just want you to see the, the actual printout. Uh, as you can see, it still looks the same as the first one. So that's why you only want to do one pass and try to keep the same pressure. Let me clean this ink out, guys, so I can switch over to the boxes. Okay, uh, so now we're going to move on to the boxes. And the boxes, remember, same thing. We're going to find our location, where, where is it that we want to print. So one of the things you got to watch out with boxes is whatever this logo is, make sure that your, that your logo is in reference with this one. What I mean by that is make sure that, for example, you can read the logo this way, this way, so your logo is not upside down. Otherwise, whenever you go to fold the box, this will be on top. You want that at the bottom. It doesn't really matter, but that's just a good reference. So in this case, my logo is facing this way, so I, I gotta make sure that my lo uh, labels are down like that. So if you don't care like me, grab a box, measure, so you're gonna measure the box from the edge to here, to the center. And then draw a line in the center, and then do the same from the bottom to the top, and draw a line. So again, for example, if I measure this one, it's gonna give me eight inches. And I know you're gonna say, it's right there. Yes, I know it's right there. But the thing is that when I measure this way, it's gonna give me a different one. So eight inches, so I know it's uh, four inches, I have to make a line. Let me put a mark right there. And again, this is gonna be uh, just so you can find the center. So we're gonna go four inches. I already know the center, but I just wanna do that, okay? Just so you guys uh, know. So now if I go this way, it's giving me 14 and three quarters. So that will be seven and five eighths. So seven, I'm sorry, seven and three eighths, not five eighths. Seven and three eighths. So, that right there will be my center. If I go like that, four inches. Now 
that's my center. So now that I know my center, so I'm gonna place my box. Remember, we have a center on my palette. So what you can do, again, if you don't care about one, sacrificing one box, you know, go ahead and draw the line all the way down. That way you can match this line with your line on the palette. So that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my line on the box with the line on my palette. That way I know exactly that I'm right in the center this way. So now I'm gonna lower my screen, bring down my logo, and this logo right here doesn't have a center, or I don't have a mark in the center. So I'm gonna line that logo to the center of this. And by doing that, so I'm gonna move the box until I see the center in the logo. And again, I am so sorry guys, I don't have the camera set up to where you can see it from a top view, but that's what I'm doing right now. So now that I found my center, raise my, um, raise my screen, realign everything. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line over here. Let me use this right here. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna have the box exactly straight so that's what I'm at right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my sticky notes and you guessed it I'm just gonna move them down to where the box is and right here this is where if you have a piece of wood um, like a real um, real thin piece of wood or even a piece of cardboard box and put it right there that this is where it helps a lot so it'll be like a like a stoppage right there so I'm gonna draw a line over here on this side which you guys I'm sorry you guys are not gonna see I already know that that's my mark right there and the reason why is because this paper was not cooperating with me okay so now I have my line over here right this time I'm gonna take my sticky note and put it on this side, on that line right there. And then this one's already in position. So now, when I go to print, all I gotta do is match that one and this one, both of those, and it'll give me the center for my print. Just like that. Just like that. Um, if your boxes are hanging over that much and you guys want to put a support on it, you can or use a bigger pallet. That way it'll, it'll help it. Uh, if you want to use tackiness to, to help with the box, you know, trying to fall, you can do that. So now I'm going to add my ink and this one's going to be blue. And again, you don't need a lot of ink. I have uh, way too much ink than what I need for this for this job. Okay, so this logo is probably about the right size for this box, but we're gonna use the same principle. So you can flat it first, and then you're gonna use this one, um, just one uh, motion, and that's what it looks like. See that? So there's a line that I drew. You cannot see the center line because the logo already took over it. Now this box is when you run them through the dryer like I am gonna do now, all these boxes are gonna come out <laughs> looking like that, but don't worry. If you lay if you lay all those boxes on top of each other, when they cool down, they'll go back to being flat. So if you bring in boxes and you wanna air dry them, you can, it's completely fine. But if you have a conveyor dryer, use it because if you're doing multiple multiple uh, uh, logos or on the box it's better if you have a, a dryer that way it'll just uh, you can do it right away so there you go that's the first one again remember we're looking for that uh, what do you call it for that logo that way our logo ends up nice and straight make sure you flat it there you go Okay, so this is what I was telling you. This is what I was talking about. See how they're all <laughs> they're all messed up? But once they cool down, they're gonna go back to their own 
on a normal position. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this side, which is the opposite side. That way when you open the, bo the box, it's going to be the logo there and the logo here. So now I need to know that when I flip it over, I'm going to be printing against this one. So it's going to be on this side. Um, and I'll show you here in a little bit. So there you go, that's the back side. Now when I open the box, see I got a logo there, and I got a logo here. So if you want to get creative, you can print all four, all four uh, sides, but in this case, I'm only printing one side. Again, let me show you, it doesn't come up. See that? And I'm putting a lot of pressure, and it doesn't come up. <laughs> you can actually see my fingers uh, shining. So, and this is by using the dryer trick okay okay guys so that's it again uh like i said i wasn't gonna print a lot of them it was just for the video uh we printed um about 25 of these and i know there's not 25 here there's some more over there and that's the final result and this one's we only printed one side we didn't we did not print the back and then this one we printed about 20 of them and look, I grabbed a bunch just so I can show you the ones they cool down. See how they get flat again? Remember how they were all uh, deformed and stuff? But that's the end result right there. That's the logo. And this is the one that we started with because you see the line right there. And then here's the one on the back. <laughs> so it's messing with me. So that's it, guys. Like, again, this is very easy to um it's tough it's very easy to uh um customize your own boxes your shipping boxes or if you want to offer this service right here it's super easy the ink that you guys use on something like this is so minimal it's very very small amounts of ink that you're gonna need uh water base is, is sort of cheap you know to where you can make a lot of prints which is uh, uh very small amounts of ink again like for example if you go to um like if you go to uh say for example hobby lobby or walmart michaels one of those stores you can buy the speedball ink just buy the ink and you can print your boxes with that uh what i'm uh, the reason why i'm saying buy the speedball is because it's so cheap that you can you know you can afford to waste some because uh water base has a, a learning curve that not a lot of people like and uh, me, I think is probably the best ink to print with, but I like water base. The ones that I'm using, this inks right here, the ones that I'm using, I got this from River City Graphics. If you guys want to pick some up, just Google River, River City Graphics. Uh, I don't get any kickbacks from them, from them guys, but they're always good to me. So that's why I'm saying if you want to uh, grab some, uh, just go to River City Graphics. You don't have to buy them from them. You can go to, uh, again, like I said, buy some Speedball, try it out, and then if you like it, get some real professional inks. That's what these are. This is Matsui. Uh, so very, very good. There's another a really good brand out there. It's called uh, Permacet. Uh, very, very, very nice ink. So both of those. And uh, But that's it. That's it for this video, guys. It was a pleasure, like always. Stay tuned because I bought some ink so I can print. Remember guys, there was a video that was very popular when I was printing poly mailers. Um, I'm gonna remake that video with another set of ink that is a lot better. I bought the ink, everything is in uh, here. So I'm gonna try it out, make sure that everything works. And then if everything works, I will make a video and then you guys get to see it. So again, that's it for this video guys. It was a pleasure. I wanna say thanks to my son because he helped me on uh, unloading, not unloading, but getting the, the uh, shirts, not shirts, the bags and the boxes out of the conveyor dryer. Thank you guys. I will catch you on the next one. Let's say goodbye. Bye. <laughs> so we'll see you later, guys. <laughs> bye bye now. God bless you. See you later. Adios.